The Queen thanked the nation for its support last night and said she was humbled and touched by the numbers who turned out to celebrate her plaque. In a message to her people, she said although she had not been able to attend all the events, her heart was with you all throughout the historic celebration. She urged Britain to build on the national unity created during four days of celebrations. Her message came after she appeared on the Buckingham Palace balcony with her immediate heirs to set the seal on the revels at the climax of a wonderfully wacky and typically British people's pageant telling the story of her record-breaking 70 years. The celebrations gave the 96-year-old monarch and her family the opportunity to project the United Kingdom as a country at ease with itself and confident about it. In a message of thanks to the nation, she said, I have been inspired by the kindness, joy and kinship that has been so evident in recent days, and I hope this renewed sense of togetherness will be felt for many years to come. Her eldest son and heir, Prince Charles, echoed her sentiments, calling for the country to cherish the spirit of togetherness created during the Central Platinum Jubilee weekend and avoid a return to Big the Queen who has been dogged by pain and episodic mobility problems that have limited her time in the spotlight to little more than half an hour during the four-day bank holiday weekend, has been there in spirit and in the thoughts of millions. In her message last night she said, When it comes to how to mark 70 years as your queen, there is no guidebook to f it really is a first. But I have been humbled and deeply touched that so many people have taken to the streets to celebrate my Platinum Jubilee. While I may not have attended every event in person, my heart has been with you all, and I remain committed to serving you to the best of my ability, supported. I thank you most sincerely for your good wishes and for the part you have all played in these happy celebrations. Her fourth public appearance of the long weekend was greeted with scenes of jubilation by crowds outside the palace at the finale of a carnival soul pageant that told the story of her life and the nation during her. Earlier in the day, Aids had said an appearance by the monarch had not been ruled out but was un but then her car was spotted in West London and the cat was out of the bag. A senior royal source, pointing to her surprise appearance on film with Paddington at the start of the Platinum Party at the Palace concert on Saturday night, said, As you saw last night, she likes to spring the odd surprise. At 4.30 p.m. the Union flag above the palace was lowered and quickly replaced by the royal standard. Half an hour later, the Queen, in a vibrant green Stuart Parvin wool dress, adorned by a bow brooch, and a Rachel Tever Morgan hat, stood with a stick on the balcony surrounded by the future of a slim down. Beside her were three future kings and two future queens, Prince Charles, Camilla, and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their three children, Prince George, 8, Princess Charlotte, 7, and Prince Louis, smiling to acknowledge the crowd. The nation's matriarch listened as a choir of national treasures, including Sir David Jason, Harry Redknapp, Sir Cliff Richard, Sandy Shaw, and Felicity Kendall, who took part in a mass rendition of God Save. It followed more than two hours of a pageant that included London buses with stars representing the seven decades of her reign, Morris Myers, a James Bond parade and a celebration of her people from the UK and Charles who earlier took his grandson Louis on his knee and rocked him from side to side as music played during the pageant, spoke about the effects of the four-day bank holiday during a visit to the flagship Big Jubilee lunch at the Oval Cricket Ground in South. He and Camilla met 450 guests at the lunch, one of 200,000 Big Jubilee lunches attended by up to 15 million people in the UK yesterday as part of an initiative to bring communities clear. He talked about keeping that togetherness going and told Sarah Fryer, chief executive of Neighborhood App Next Door, when it comes to Monday are we going to go back to all the bickering again? Let's hope we don't. Charles, who was discussing the national mood, has seen his own feuding family reunited at least temporarily for the sake of the Queen. But it is not clear if they have managed to end their bickering. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who attended Trooping the Colour and a national service of Thanksgiving for the Queen's reign at St. Paul's Cathedral last week, were not at the pageant yesterday and may have returned home to California by now. But the Queen's Jubilee captured the imagination of the nation. Up to 1.5 million people gathered in central London on the first day. And the BBC said yesterday that its Saturday night concert, The Platinum Party at the Palace, attracted a peak of 13.4 million viewers on BBC One and was watched by an average audience of 11. That means the concert, featuring Diana Ross, Queen plus Adam Lambert, Duran Duran, Craig David, Alicia Keys and Sir Rod Stewart among others, 
was the biggest television audience of the year and one sure to be be boosted by those watching on BBC iPlayer and Catch Up. Stars who took part in the events paid tribute to the Queen yesterday. After watching her appear in a surprise film clip with Paddington shown at the Platinum Party of the Palace, singer and actress Elaine Page, said yesterday, I thought to myself what a brilliant actor she is, the timbre of her voice, the twink. I think she is just so good, she added. Speaking from an actor's point of view. Sir Cliff Richard, who took part in the pageant yesterday, said it still felt like the grandest honor to be near the royal family after all these years. He said, Every time you have to be with the royalty, all those moments are great because all these years later, it still feels like the grandest. Where else in the world can you get a chance to do something like this? Spandau Ballet singer Tony Hadley said it was an absolute honor to be a part of the celebrations in honor of the Queen's 70. He added, it's actually quite emotional as well. When Her Majesty came to the balcony I was like, wow that was a moment in time, a moment in history, this will not happen. It's been a been an incredible day. The four days of celebrations also attempted to showcase Britain as a multicultural countries at E. From Bhangra drummers, to an Asian pipe band and many black performers, the country's many different ethnic groups were Supermodel Naomi Campbell said she had an amazing day featuring in the 1990s open top bus as part of the Platinum G She added, I'm so honored to be here today for my country. And it's just been an incredible jubilee.